Arizona is losing millions because of a disastrous policy decision. So in 2022, Arizona pioneered the largest school voucher program in the history of education in this country. It was a universal voucher program, meaning any student could get $7,000 from the state government to leave public school and go into private school. Now, the Grand Canyon Institute, which is this nonpartisan economic policy center, studied how this thing is turning out, and they found some negative results. Firstly, Arizona is going to be facing a $1.4 billion shortfall. Now, not all of that is because of the voucher program. Some of that was expected and baked in, but a lot of it is a result of the new voucher spending. And this comes off of the estimates of the voucher spending being about $65 million. Turns out it's costing $332 million. Okay, so my mind goes two places with yes. this. Either way more people participated in the voucher program than they thought, mm -hmm. and or um, the savings that they had in their public schools by having fewer students to teach were not nearly what they expected them to be. It's actually the worst case scenario, and it's neither of those two. Oh. <laughs> the Learning Policy Institute studied, okay, where is this extra money coming from? Why did it over exceed all the expectations? Well, it turns out that this universal voucher program is being taken by parents of kids who already send their kids to private school. So it's not like you're taking a kid out of public school, sending them to private. It's a kid who's been in private school, and now the, the, the state is just subsidizing the parents $7,000 for sending their kid to the private school. There's no benefit in education that's been this from before the pass of this legislation. That's so funny because it's, it's the most obvious thing that you can expect to happen. Oh, yeah. If I was a parent and I'm spending like, you know, 50 grand a year sending yeah. my kid to a private school, you bet I'm taking that $7,000 free subsidy. Exactly. Why not? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's so so I, it's, it, this is one of the, the downsides of not means testing the program. In 2011, these vouchers were only available for disabled students in Arizona, right? It was very, very specific groups okay. of people yeah. that were accessible to this voucher program. Um, and it didn't work out that way. The, Gold, the, the Goldwater Institute, which is, this, is the right-leaning policy center that basically wrote the bill, t sold this to taxpayers as, you know, oh, you're going to save money. The public, the public system schools won't have to take care of as many schools, and we're going to have competition in the private sector between schools competing with the voucher money, and all these different people are going to lower costs to get the voucher money, and that's just not happening. Didn't happen. Um, and this, this is going to have some consequences. You know, Arizona is going to have to make a lot of budget cuts to some pretty serious public services. One of them is water retention which in Arizona is like the last thing that you want to divest from. It's one of the driest and most arid states. You're like, oh, yeah, first thing to go was water. I'm shocked that that's at the top of the Yeah, list. that's ridiculous. One of the early episodes we did on this show was about how the Colorado River Basin is like running dry, and Arizona gets almost all of its water from there. And like, like they need fucking water there more than anything. So Republicans were like, all right, listen, listen, listen. Water retention, that's great. That's great. That's awesome. But let's go subsidize some private school kids. I will say the one good thing out of this is that now we have a very solid answer on a policy proposal. That's true. Universal vouchers, it's a hard no. We do not get that often, and now we finally have a hard no on a policy that's been gaining a lot of momentum. It's, it should be dead here.